Mustang, Tessie Delay La Mustang. Hi, this is Sandy Van Soy for Trekking the Planet. We've now moved on to Tibet in China and are in the city of Shinatse, which is Tibet's second city. In our last video, we provided an update for the first half of our trek up to the village of Geling. In this video, we'll be covering the second half, focusing mainly on our experiences in the village of Loma Thang and the surrounding area. As we spent more time in Upper Mustang region, we were struck by the idea that we were actually witnessing living history. Here's a few of the things that we saw. Five kilometers north of Loma Thang are the Zhang Caves. The caves are said to be 2,500 years old. The complex has four stories. We had a blast exploring the different levels. Back in Loma Thang, we had the privilege of meeting Lama Nunweng, founder of the Great Compassion Boarding School. He explained that though he is still a member of the local monastery, he left his position in the year 2000 to start this school that now has over 100 students from Loma Thang and nine of the surrounding villages. The students we met were very attentive and asked a lot of questions about education in the United States. Fifty-five thousand students go on the two sides of the table. And then the doctor, doctor, and the judge will do the same. That's the room drain. 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 Students in the U.S. go from age 5 to age 18. And then they go to university. She got a hundred and a quarter of the mala. She got a long and he looked at the other side. Lodge of Gilepna was a look at the other side. And this young dude. University and high school, look at the Before we left Loma Thang, we had the distinct honor of gaining an audience with the former king of Mustang. After a brief kata ceremony, we asked if the king had a message for the now 850 classrooms that are following our journey. Since the king speaks Tibetan, we used two interpreters to translate. The first translated our question to Nepali, and the second translated from Nepali to Tibetan. Likewise, the king's response had to be translated twice, but this time in reverse. Soon we had the king's answer. He asked if teachers following our journey would consider visiting the upper Mustang region in order to teach children there directly, or to help the area's educators teach more effectively. If you're interested in learning more, please send us an email. Well, that's all for now. Check back with us later for more updates. Thanks.